Hey guys and gals, what's crack a lack and spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. What I got for you today is uh, I was tagged in a video by Dan, my man, over at Home in the Sticks. Uh, he tagged me in a uh, video. It's kind of like five items, five people challenge type deal. Um, if you don't know who Dan is over at Home in the Sticks, a little iCar will pop up. Go over and check him out. Uh, he's got a great channel. He's a great guy. Uh, but he tagged me in a video. What you want to do is in your uh your bug out bag your everyday bag your your uh bushcraft bag uh you want to pick your most your, the five most important items and you know tell what that is in in your uh equipment there so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, pick my five i'm gonna show you my five items that uh i think is most important to me and then i'll pick five people to tag in this video at the end so as you know uh if you've been watching my channel for a while I've been down since the end of June last year uh, with the injury to my hand. Uh, as you can see here, I've had surgery on and everything else. Uh, so I haven't been able to do a whole lot of, you know, bushcraft out in the woods, uh, hunting, fishing, uh, camping. But um, so I kind of got every all my stuff right now in a in a, a ready bag or a to go bag. But I have a backpack that I usually carry with me when I go hunting, fishing, uh, camping. Um, I do a lot of, especially getting ready for hunting season, I go out in the woods doing a lot of scouting to see where I want to hunt and uh, what's a good place to hunt. And there's a lot, a lot of times that I spend quite a few hours in the woods. And the only reason why I, I got this bag set up, uh, just a little quick story for you, is probably about mm, 12 years ago, I took off in the woods uh, out in a wild reserve uh, squirrel hunting. And I... Uh, parked on this little dirt road that you go down and back off in the distance um or back off to the west side east side of the road is nothing but woods i mean miles and miles of woods so uh had my little fanny pack with my hunting stuff in it uh, you know don't be hating on my fanny pack but had my little fanny pack with my hunting stuff in it and had my little single shot 12 gauge and man i was off in the woods and i told myself I'm going to follow this way. The sun is going that way, so uh, I'm going to go this way. So that's what I did. I, I kept the sun to my back and took off squirrel hunting. And man, I squirrel hunted for about four or five hours, it seemed like. Uh, killed me three or four squirrels. But then I got ready. It was getting time getting dark and uh, needed to head on out. Well, somehow I got turned around because, I, I mean... I made sure I stayed straight. If I was looking at a tree or something, I made, okay, this is where I need to go home and everything like that. But getting ready to leave out, I got lost in the woods. Um, and I stayed out in the woods for, man, it seemed, it seemed like forever. It seemed like days, but I was probably out there for about 15 hours. Uh, it got really long, and I almost had to stay the night in the woods, but I finally found my way to a road, and... Um, I started, I was like, okay, well, I come out of the woods here, so I need to walk. My car is probably about this way. So I walked about four miles that way, and by God, never got to my car. Finally, somebody with a four-wheeler come in, and I asked him, did you see a, uh, a truck somewhere? He's like, no, I didn't see one. I was like, well, it's this way. Can you give me a ride? And sure enough, it was about, man, my car was about eight miles that way. So uh, got that. But that, that had me really thinking uh, at that point. So from that moment forward, I've always made sure I had a, uh, a pack on and had me my essentials just in case I did get lost or I did get hurt in the woods. Um, at least I can survive for a little bit until I get some help to me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the important, uh, my five important items in my bag. First off, I'm going to start off with, bet you never thought of it, man, I got that TP in a little Ziploc bag so it don't get wet. You know, you do not know how important this is until you need it. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times I've been out in the woods, and this is actually uh, two or three years ago I started putting this in my bag. You know how many times I've been out in the woods and come back out of the woods with a sock missing or uh, no, t no tail on my shirt or it depends on if I have a bad pair of underwear on. I'm going to cut them suckers off and uh, sacrifice them. So toilet paper is definitely number one. 
um, right off the get go, uh, gotta have my blades. I got a pocket knife that I always, well, this is always, anytime I have pants on, I got my pocket knife, but, um, uh, a machete, uh, I like to have a machete. This is actually the, uh, the knife that I found on the side of the road, uh, that one time you've seen the video to it. Um, this little blade here, man, it's got a thick spine on it. So if I need to, uh, chop a little, you know, a tree down, you know, a small diameter tree down, I can do that with it. Um, so that's, that's going to be number two. Let's go into number three. Um, got to have something to cook your water in or cook food in just in case, you know, you stay out in the woods uh, overnight or you, you go out fishing and decide to camp out. Uh, got something to boil water in or cook food in. And uh, let's see, my fourth item or my fifth item, nope, my fourth item is going to be, man, I got a bag full of lighters. I suck at making fire. I cannot rub a stick together and make a fire to save my life, literally. So I always make sure I have plenty of lighters. Uh, and I do have some flint, uh, some ferro rods in my bag, but um, lighters is more important than that. Um, to me, it is. Next thing is I got bank line. Uh, man, the, the uses for this is just outrageous. Um, I can use this to tie up a little shelter if I need to. Um, if I'm out fishing, I can use this to fish with. Uh, I can set snares, set traps with this. So bank line is very important to me to have in my bag. Um, and actually, new item in my bag is Titan Survival Cord from my pal FLP. Um, I leave a little iCard to FLP. Uh, he's another awesome guy, awesome channel, and I actually won a giveaway that he had, and it was the Titan Survival Cord. Um, actually, the video to me uh, winning, or I, the little mail call, little another little icar pop up, that's me uh, receiving the uh, Titan Survival Cord from him. Uh, so yeah, that's my five most important items. Um, I know this is five items, five guy challenge, or five, five items, five YouTuber challenge, but uh, anytime I go anywhere, it doesn't matter where I go, um, I'm always packing. Um, anytime I go in the woods, this, uh, this is a Glock 17 9 millimeter. Um, anytime I go to the woods, anytime I go to town, anytime I just go outside, I'm always, uh, carrying my 9 millimeter, this Glock. Um, to me, it's, it's one of the, anything, anything can happen, especially out in the woods. Uh, where I live now, um, we have a, a bad problem with wild hogs. And if I'm out in the woods and I stumble across a path of a wild hog, they are very territorial. So they're going to charge you, and if if it gets close enough to you, it can hurt you pretty bad. Well, with this, I can get off 15 rounds in no time. And I'm a pretty damn good shot with it, too. So... Uh, that's just a little extra I want to throw in there, uh, just so y'all, you know, I'm always packing, so don't, don't come at me all sideways. <laughs> all right, so, uh, that's my five items. Let me go into the five people I want to tag in this challenge. Um, the first person I want to tag is my buddy FLP. I know you've done quite a few videos of, um, you know, what you, what you like to have, but, I want you to put together your your five most important items uh, in your everyday carry, uh, you know, hunting, fishing, if you do that kind of thing. What's your five most important items? Um, my second person uh, I'm going to uh, tag is Daniel. God is my judge. Man, I know you're out uh, out in the country, and I know you got a bag ready. Uh, I want to know what your five most important items are. Um, the third person I want to uh, tag is uh, Matt A. Man, he's, you know, he's up in uh, upstate New York, but um, I don't know, Matt, if you do a whole lot of scouting in the woods or anything like that, any kind of bushcraft, but I know you got a ready bag. So uh, let me know what your most, your five most important items are. Um, fourth person I'm going to tag is uh, Two Dog. Man, I know you do a lot of hunting, and um, I know you got a pack ready with you all the time. Uh, let me know what your five most important items are. Uh, so let's see, the fifth person I want to tag is going to be, um, got to be my mom, Southern Ark Homestead. Hey, uh, you are out in the woods 
all day, every day. And you're finna start moving, hopefully start moving to uh, South Arkansas. So uh, let me know what your five most important uh, items are. I know your uh, my mom, Southern Rock Homestead, is more of a um, homesteader uh, type video or type channel. So uh, I know your items might not be out scouting in the woods or bushcraft or stuff like that. But I want to know your most five, your five most important items that you like to have with you when you go out and do things, camping, fishing, stuff like that. Uh, and you better have that rocket stove as one of your uh, one of your items. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. That's going to be it. Uh, link to everybody's channel is going to be in the description below. If you like this uh, video, man, give that thing a thumbs up because those things are awesome. And until next video, everybody, remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.